We've been using agent mode behind the scenes for weeks, and the results are even surprising us. In this video, I'll show you how you can use it to save hours on test creation, catch edge cases that are easy to miss, and keep your tests in sync, even when APIs change. Before we dive in, I wanna know, what's your biggest pain point when it comes to API testing right now? Is it figuring out what exactly to test? How to debug when requests fail? Keeping your tests in sync as APIs evolve? Leave a comment down below because honestly, I wanna hear if agent mode can solve your specific problem. And don't forget to stick around until the end because I have one bonus tip for agent mode that you won't wanna miss. All right, let's get into it. The thing about writing and maintaining tests manually is that it's really time consuming. It's also repetitive and like any manual process, it creates so much opportunity for errors and inconsistency. It's not how most of us really wanna spend our development time. Agent Mode in Postman is able to automate those repetitive tasks so your valuable time can be spent on more meaningful work, like adding new functionality, improving performance, and solving interesting problems. That's where your focus should be. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say I'm testing an e-commerce checkout API. I'd probably spend about 30 minutes writing tests for successful orders, failed payments, bad product IDs, and making sure things like auth and response data are behaving correctly. But watch this instead. I'm gonna open agent mode in Postman, and I'm just gonna type in plain language, generate comprehensive tests for this checkout endpoint, including success cases and common failure scenarios. So in about 15 seconds, I have tests for successful checkouts, invalid payment methods, expired cards, missing fields, and it adds dynamic checks for things like response times and headers. So these aren't just basic, see if it returns 200 tests. These are actual production ready test cases with proper assertions using pm.expect to validate status codes, response times, and payloads. What makes this so useful and powerful is you can completely customize the prompt. Let's say I wanna add tests for pagination. I could just ask, or I can have it validate specific response fields. Agent mode adapts to what you ask for, and it's not a generic template. Because it's running inside Postman, it has full context of all your collections, environments, and history, so it knows what to test and how. Okay, but what about when things go wrong? Because they will. APIs break, authentication tokens expire, endpoints change. It's part of life. Agent mode is ready to handle these too. Let's say I've got this request that's failing. I'm getting a 401 unauthorized, but I know my token's correct. Well, I think it is. Agent mode doesn't just tell me, hey, this is broken. It analyzes headers and request body contexts and tells me why it's broken, how to fix it, and it can act for me. You can see the steps as it creates the test so you can understand how it's constructing them. In this case, I was using bearer token auth when the endpoint expected an API key in the header. Easy fix, but it could have taken me 10 minutes of trial and error to fix on my own. Now, if you're working across multiple environments, you know the pain of keeping your test configured correctly for each one. Here's how agent mode handles that. I can tell agent mode, set up my tests to run across dev, staging, and production environments, and it can generate the environment setup, adjust endpoints, and walk you through wiring everything correctly. You'll just need the right permissions in your workspace to save those shared changes. But my favorite part that's huge for test coverage, agent mode helps you catch edge cases you could easily miss. Like I didn't even think to test for empty strings that pass validation or weird Unicode or data that's technically valid, but doesn't make sense. When you ask, agent mode can suggest these kinds of scenarios. So you're not scrambling to add them after something breaks in production. All right, so we can generate tests, debug failures and cover edge cases automatically. That's already a massive time saver. But what about when you're working on a team or you want these tests running automatically in CI? Let's talk about scaling this up. If you've ever taken the lead in onboarding a new developer or QA engineer, you know how long it takes to get them up to speed on your testing setup. Where are the collections? How do we structure tests? What's our naming convention? Agent mode can be your best friend and theirs. You can literally ask it to explain your existing tests and it'll break everything down for you. It even points out dependencies or variables between collections. So new team members can get context instantly instead of hunting through Slack threads or asking teammates one-on-one. -on -one. When a new developer joins, they don't have to ask, what is this collection test? Agent mode can explain your test logic and structure in plain language so they can get productive faster. Most teams already automate at least some of their testing, but not everything makes it into CI. If your API tests aren't running automatically with every commit, there's room for things to slip through the cracks. 
The good news is that Agent Mode can also help with this. You can use Agent Mode to help you set up your API tests in CI/CD, whether that's GitHub Actions, Jenkins, or GitLab. So I can say, generate a workflow file to run my Postman tests in GitHub Actions. Agent Mode writes the YAML and explains what to do next. From there, I can copy the file into my repo and my tests start running automatically when there's a commit or pull request on main. Huge time saver. One of the biggest challenges in testing is keeping everyone on the same page. Not just the QA team, but developers, PMs, support. Because Agent Mode works inside your Postman workspace, everything it generates, the tests, the explanations, even the documentation, lives where your team already collaborates. Everyone has visibility into what's working and what's not. Product managers can see if a new feature is actually tested. Support teams can reference test scenarios when troubleshooting customer issues. It creates this shared understanding of quality across the whole team that's visible to everyone, not just the people who wrote the tests. And because all the automated test assets are in the workspace, you're not juggling separate tools or wondering where the latest test scripts live. It's all right here. Okay, we've covered generating tests, debugging, scaling across teams, and CI-CD integration. But there's one more thing that Agent Mode does that honestly might be the biggest time saver of all. And that has to do with what happens when your API changes. If you've been doing API testing for any length of time, you know that maintaining tests can be harder than writing them in the first place. Your API adds a new field, a response schema changes, an endpoint gets deprecated, Suddenly, half your tests are failing, not because your API is broken, but because your tests are outdated. Check this out. When your API evolves, you can ask Agent Mode to review your tests. It's going to suggest and generate updates that you can review and approve. It's never rewriting your tests behind your back. It can act on your behalf, but you're still in control. New required fields? It'll add the right assertions. Response structure changed? It adjusts your validation logic. And if there are deprecated endpoints, it flags them for you to review. I can't overstate how much time this saves. What used to be a whole morning of comparing responses, rewriting assertions, and debugging false failures is now a single prompt and a few clicks. And what makes this so useful? Agent Mode understands the intent behind your tests, not just the syntax. And it's not doing a simple find and replace. It's not retraining a model or guessing. It actually looks at what you're validating based on your real API context and intelligently adapts to your test logic. So whether you're working with versioned APIs, fast-moving microservices, or just the normal API evolution, Agent Mode helps you keep your tests aligned without you having to manually track every change. And last, but certainly not least, you already know that Postman automatically generates clear and easy to understand documentation for your collections and requests. But here's a bonus tip. Agent Mode can create docs like this for your test suites. Send a prompt and it can generate documentation that explains what your tests are validating and why, and also generate plain language summaries of recent test runs. And that's it. Agent Mode takes API testing from something tedious and manual to something faster, smarter, and a lot easier to maintain. To recap what we covered, auto-generating meaningful test cases, debugging broken requests in seconds, setting up environments across dev, staging, and production, scaling testing across your team and CI-CD, and keeping your tests current as your APIs evolve. If you haven't tried Agent Mode yet, honestly, you're going to be amazed by the time it saves you. It's available in Postman right now, so give it a try and see how it fits into your workflow. So what do you want to know next? Maybe how Agent Mode handles specific frameworks or multi-service setups? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. And if this was helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more Postman tips and API workflow breakdowns. I'm Melinda, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.